guys, it's me, and it's, I believe, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. I have gotten very little sleep. Um, of course, you guys know that I did recently have my baby. He's five and a half weeks old, and he's drinking seven ounces of milk. Okay, not four ounces. So, yeah, he's he's getting big. Um, this video, okay, is a review on the practice hand that I got from banggood.com. I know you guys, I don't know if the new ones have, the, the new people that's watching my channel have seen my recent video that I had posted about the items that I got off at banggood.com. Um, if not, check it out. Uh, this review is on the hand that I got from them, and I'd have to say I really, really do like it. Do I like it better than my wooden hand that I liked playing with so much doing my nail designs? Yes, I do, actually. I really, really do. I miss that hand, but I really like this one. Uh... I had figured out, I know in, the, in my uh, past video that I posted yesterday, I know I'd asked for some advice on how to uh, remove the acrylic after applying it because I know sometimes, you know, like the wooden hand, you have to apply hot glue gun in a form to actually play with it. And the Sally Hansen hand is very stiff and it's very hard for that to um, work with for the acrylic because the fingers are like in the way and it's like moving a finger that doesn't want to move and it's so irritating. Gosh. Um, there is no way to remove the acrylic off of that hand. Um, but for this hand I had figured out how to do it. I had used baby oil and I had applied a good bit to where um, it's not a thin layer of baby oil. Um, I had uh, applied that and then I had used a French French white tip and what I used to uh, apply that onto the practice hand was acrylic. You're probably thinking why acrylic, why not glue? I don't want the tip to get stuck to the hand. Okay. Um, I had a pro I had applied a ball of acrylic at the tip where you apply the glue, and um, I had held it onto the finger and I had let it sit. And I held the finger at the same time I'm holding the tip with one hand and while the other hand is working on making a thin layer of acrylic on top of the finger and onto the tip. Now as soon as that dried, I basically uh, made it to where it would act like a, like a finger. Okay, and uh, I did a design and after I did my design, I encapsulated the finger with clear acrylic and then I filed. When I was filing, it didn't seem to come off. Um, I kind of made sure I held the finger, the fingernail down. And uh, of course, I filed and buffed and I polished and all that. So I waited about 20 to 30 minutes after um, it dried after that 20 to 30 minutes I came back and I pulled the fingernail back you know just just like this like pull it back and it just basically popped off by itself it had no problem of not coming off I didn't have to force it I didn't have to get like a pry tool or anything to to get it off so um for those who are wanting to learn how to do nails and are on a budget and don't want to spend $35 to $150, yes, there are practice hands that cost to $150. Um, I recommend that this hand is for you because the price for this one is $17.99. Banggood is a worldwide uh, company and they have free shipping and the prices are awesome. They're awesome, you guys. But uh, depends where it's coming from. I've seen where it comes from different places. But uh, the wait is a little long. I can say it's too long. I would say about a month or before then. Mine came in less than a month, okay? So if you're the type of person that can wait that long, then I highly suggest this website is for you. And for those who are beginners at doing nails I suggest you get this hand because it is a decent price and it comes with this extension here to where you can move the hand up or down and this can attach to the table and this hand it turns 
you know, like a regular person's hand would do. You can turn it. Um, yeah, so I, I give this a five star. I really like it because when I'm working on the finger, I can actually move the fingers out of the way, you know, like you would do a person. Um, it's not so friggin' hard rock stiff like the one at Sally Beauty Salon, and it costs $8.99. So for a little bit more couple bucks, yeah, this is it for you. So I really like that website. They have so many things other than nail art. Will I order any other things other than nail art? No. Um, I believe, you know, I've become a nail addict, and I think it's going to get worse later in time. Not going to lie. So, but will I uh, order some more products? Of course. The only thing I'm going to order is like nail supplies and nail art and all that. But, um, yeah. So, I'll post the link down below of banggood.com. And then I'll post another link down below of the, of the nail art. So, for those who are new to watching my channel, if you like this video and want to see more upcoming videos, like and subscribe down below. Follow me on Facebook, Nails of Creation, and, and on Instagram. Okay, so I'll be doing some video tutorials and some nail designs. I am going to be doing it here in just a moment after this video. Am I tired? Oh, yes, I'm tired. Of course, I said it recently. My son is getting his days mixed up, but it's just, just temporary. So, why don't, why don't I get no sleep? Well, I'm doing this for you guys because I love you guys. So, And I really need to work on putting up more videos, even though I stay pretty busy other than doing YouTube. So, thanks to you guys so much for watching. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for watching my videos and showing so much love. I love you guys so much, and you guys are awesome. Now, one more thing. If you guys want to get to know me, if you have any questions or answers, please send me a message through my Facebook page, and I would love to answer all your questions. So, I love talking to you guys so you can get to know me, and then maybe I can get later to know you. So, you guys stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.